So I was teaching at Broomfield High School and I thought I wanted to go back and get a doctorate in English and I went back to see you for a year and then I decided I didn't want to and all that time I'd been messing around that potter's wheel in the basement. So this was a long time ago. This was early 70s. So a long time. Kind of pick stuff up and uh, quit my other jobs and start doing pottery. I think I'm glad I did. I joined the co-op in 1990. You have a group of people who are, who are mostly who are of course are self-interested because they have their wares sale, but they work together. I like that the co-op accepts that and that I can bring stuff in. And they are that is not like things I brought in before. Or, that, that there, there's an acceptance there of trying things out. When Ruth and I were in Golden, we had kilns in the backyard and a studio in the basement there. There was so much clay around there and somehow I got involved with the clays that were just outside the, the door practically, right outside of town. And so I've always dug mainly in that area, also the boulder area and even up toward Lyons a little bit, but it, just because it's fun to do. It used to be a little more exciting because you always had to they, this was always private property, so you always had to sneak in somewhere. So that's kind of cool, too. So we'd sneak in with buckets, little pickle barrel buckets that are now Home Depot buckets. Uh, though I now have a relationship with a guy who has an old clay pit, and so he kind of likes the idea of me making pots out of his clay, and I trade him pots for his clay. Well, when you use the native clay, I think your concerns are still basically the concerns that they are when you're buying store-bought clay. And that is, what are you going to do with it? If you're going to throw a piece on the, on the potter's wheel, it's going to be different than if you're going to uh, sculpt something out of it. You want a coarse clay for sculpting. I sieve it, so I know basically what the, the mesh of the stuff is, but I don't know how much grit is in there, how much sand is in there, until I actually find that out by, by throwing with it. And I don't know how much, for instance, it shrinks, I have to figure out what temperature it's going to fire at and how the color changes. And with native clay, you have a lot of iron in it, and the color often changes rather dramatically as you go up and temperature gets darker. And so, to how high do I want to go on that scale in order to have just the look I want? And then how does it fit my glazes? So there are these questions that are basically the same questions, but I have to ask them with each, with each new batch of clay. I also teach up at Gilpin Community Center up in Gilpin County. I have a, a clay program up there and uh, it's getting bigger and we have rooms jammed full of pottery things and, and I, that's another whole group of people that is not connected with a co-op group, but I, I like these groups. I, I like these, these pots, I just put pictures, just made some pictures with some hand-built handles on them. Well, I uh, made my first one like that last week because a woman in class had made one. We were, we were making uh, things with handles. It didn't even have to be a picture. She made this, this one like that. Then a guy in another one of the classes wanted to know how to do that, so I showed him how in a demo, and he made them, and I just kind of brought me back in the shape I had before. When you're, you kind of feel you're right on the edge, you're about to, you got some ideas, and they seem to be working, but you might go that direction, you might go that. That's when I feel the best. So I always have this this, uh, this little debate here within myself, you know, how far can I push things, or is this even interesting to anybody else but you? And and, and the answer always is, is always a, a kind of a moving target. You, sometimes you think, well, uh, I really want to do this, and I'm not sure where it's going, and I, maybe nobody will like it, but I really want people to like my things, so I, I'm always back and forth and say, I, you know, I think it's pretty nice. I'm going to put it out there, and I hope people like it. But I sure enjoyed learning about this particular thing and stretching it over to here, and uh, I hope they like it too.